Okay, I'm in Pattaya now. Pattaya is um, not far from Bangkok, about an hour and a half bus ride, probably a bit less as a taxi wise. It's actually a big city. Uh, <clears throat> I'm in a hotel room. I was staying at Charlie's, but he's got his family there, and I just, yeah, just felt like I'd like him a bit of space, so I just go into a little hotel room. $20. $20 a night. Basic, got a fridge, air conditioner, place has got a pool. Although I haven't been down here yet, I've just checked down. Air conditioner and two cheap hotel style. Sounds like a helicopter. I don't mind. Does the job. <clears throat> so I'm going to go out and go exploring uh, around some of the more dubious parts of uh, Pattaya. Just in the interest of you guys, letting you guys see what it's all about. I was talking to a fellow this morning at breakfast who's uh, living here. And he gave me the rundown of some of the places that I'm considering. I'm only considering checking out. One of them is, uh, I forgot the name of it now, but I'll take the camera there if I go, if I'm allowed in. But basically what it is, is it's a, a, a soapy massage. <laughs> So apparently you go there and uh, you go into like a bar or whatever and you pick whoever you want to give you this soapy massage and then they, um, they lay you down on a, like a, a waterbed or like a lilo, you know, a pool lilo or something and they cover you in, in soap and then they slide up and down all over you and give you basically a fanny massage. <laughs> I was told at told breakfast, oh, I've never had a fanny massage, so I'll give that a go. That sounds hilarious. I'm pretty sure they won't let me film it, but and I'm pretty sure that if I did do it, that uh, YouTube would never let me post it. And then I was also given uh, directions around the place and shot on the steps, streets and pointed out. One of them was called the filthiest street in Pattaya. <laughs> So when we were going for breakfast, we passed the street and uh, almost I was almost throwing up. There was chickens, dead chickens in the street, stinking and rubbish and just the vilest st smelling street that you can imagine. And that's where we were having breakfast. <laughs> <coughs> the story gets worse. Well, the filthiest street in Pattaya is a street that you... Uh, it's basically a red light street and they just basically you walk down and they just try and drag you into the bars uh, or off the street into their rooms or whatever they want to perform their wicked acts so i'm going to take my camera down there on my phone anyway and see if what i can um what mischief i can get into without getting into mischief because that'd be against the rules and i'm not really interested in spending a lot of money on giving anybody any kind of, I just really want to take my camera down there and a lot of you guys have never been places like this so I want to share it with you and see what uh, nonsense I can get up to, just in the interest of science we'll call it. So stick with me this afternoon is going to be a bit outrageous and um, I'm just getting ready to go now, it's two o'clock in the afternoon, <coughs> it's pretty hot, still got this cough that I get from the Air conditioning, that's getting a lot better. I was in the Philippines and um, out in the islands where there's no electricity after midnight and um, just basically lie in a bucket of sweat all night, no fan or anything, and I got a bit crook. And uh, <clears throat> I'm only just starting to recover now, so I feel my way around. So it took me a few days to recover from the islands with uh, no Wi-Fi, no electricity, no, yeah, it was, yeah, it was pretty, Pretty full on, it was so hot, it was almost 40 degrees, if you can imagine that. And you'd walk out, and it was just like being, I was just, you were soaking in sweat within 10 paces, you know. And it's not much cooler here, but there's a little bit of cloud cover. And um, yeah, we'll just go and see what kind of mischief we can get into anyway. And I'll, I'll bring you what I can. If they don't, uh, you know, they might object to the camera there, so if that's the case, then I'll put it away and uh, report after the event so yes yeah, so I'll stand by it's all coming if you're easily offended don't watch it <laughs> all right later see you